Good morning. <clears throat> Good evening. Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. Uh, this week's episode is going to be kind of short. It's about, um, what do we got? Oh, getting some tile in with my friend Corey up the road and getting some cedar shingles in with my friend Jeremy Gantz, who you've seen from various things, putting this giant window in, helping with the raising and you know all kinds of random projects at his place and my place over the years. But Corey, basically this is a week about uh, help from friends, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of sawmilling too. I got some of that. Oh yeah, it was in last week's video, but this is flooring. Um, I'm sure I recorded some of that too, but hopefully I'll get a video out next week too. We'll see. I've just been busy. I've been working like crazy and uh, getting out to the coast a little bit, and that's been wonderful. Um, and just enjoying the weather. I went out for a long ski this evening. Um, and that was very nice. We're getting, I don't know, six, ten inches of snow, something like that. And it's wicked cold, light and fluffy. It's just this beautiful snow. You hear it? Well, anyway. Um, yeah, and I've got the loft done, uh, well, sort of done. And I think that'll be in, yeah, that'll be in next, next week's video. But, um, maybe I'll throw a little clip of what that looks like. It's coming together great. It's really sweet. So... Thanks for the comments, thanks for all the kind encouragement, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. But, and I tried to do it this way. Yeah, it seems to be weak. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. This way? This way. Oh yeah, and just cut a bunch of six inch strips. If that was like half or yeah, it makes sense. less than, yeah. I'd go that way. Yeah. But what's that? What's next after uh, corn and whatnot? Like um, cabinets. Yeah. Yeah, making some cabinets right there. Do you have the cabinets? No, I'm gonna make them. Oh really? Yeah. Just build some plywood boxes and. Yep. Finish plywood. <laughs> it's unbelievable, especially after you've sanded it without a vacuum. Yeah, I mean, I've swept it twice. You want me to vacuum it? No, I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna wash it. Get up there. Yeah. What do you want from me? Nothing. It's really a shame to cover this up. It's beautiful. You see the multiple types of wood they have in there? Cherry, right. spruce. So like in the future, like in the last 20, 30 years or however long, people remodel and they pull up carpet and they're like, can you believe they covered up this hardwood? Yeah. So like, they're going to do that with this someday. Yeah, like in the future. Yeah, they're going to rip up the tile. They're going to be like, can you believe they covered They covered this, this beautiful, beautiful stuff with tile? <laughs> Ridges all in the same direction, so you can't ever get the air out of the grooves. So you'll never get 100% uh, adhesion. Full coverage. Wow. So guys, do this shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So everywhere, this is trap. This is all trap. Like, I think we got at the end of this, we're gonna have to do a tips video. Tile tips with Corey um, Jones. What are you doing? Kids, bro.
cats, man. Just yeah, like that. Yeah. boxes? Are you warm and cozy in here? I'm so warm and cozy. That's the ledge. Oh, oh gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you rest your singles down on that. So these are just increments. Okay. You know, whatever chunk of wood we have. Yeah. So this this works out. Top of window to top of light. That coursing all works out, but it doesn't work out with this. We're coming up. You might have to split that light block. We can even set up a laser you, too. Then you hold the ledger, ledger up and yeah. But, I also have my laser on the tripod that goes up and down. So yeah. There's that. And I have it a, might be easier. I have thing. a wall or a, one of those uh, easy things you shim up against the ceiling. Yep. Those are great with the magnet. Yep. Yep. We can just put it right. Well, let's get it. Let's get it set up. And then we'll just have to. As we get above the light block, we'll just 
Yeah, we'll mark them. Let's mark them. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's that's what we got. Um, now you, you don't mark the you don't mark the corners, or will you? So where where it's not ideal is you know you have to hold this thing up to the core seam. I guess we got a nice ledge to. You just kind of have to extrapolate, you know, like you know, you never get exact marks, but it's what okay. I do, it all comes out in the wash. What I do is just mark there and there. Nice. The fact that every chop saw in the world doesn't have that way of adjusting is insane. It doesn't have what? That way of adjusting is crazy. Why? It's perfect. You love it now. It's perfect. You're a convert. It's the best thing I've ever used. A convert. Um, the Bosch is a little bit slicker. The Craftsman at work. I would say. Yeah. You okay with that dirt on there? Oh, I love the dirt. Thank you. you know you got good friends when on a... Saturday night at 7.30 in rural Western Maine. We got one artist in... Yeah, I'm out here. Um, you know, you've got good friends that uh, are willing to come on a, uh, are working on a Saturday night in rural Western Maine at eight o'clock. I mean, it's very cold out, but I'm running trim in the bedroom. Jeremy's up there putting cedar shingles in the bathroom and Corey's uh, cleaning up the grout lines in his wizardly tile work. So uh, I'm very lucky to have these people in my life. Anyway, it's coming along. Uh, it's fun, it's warm in there. It's Negative zero right now, but the wind died. Last night, uh, well, this morning when I woke up, it was a wind chill of 50 below zero here. An hour from here, on top of Mount Washington, they recorded 114 below zero. That's ni nippy. Night work. <laughs> it's wet, it softens up, and you can just wipe it up. Um, What's in your left hand? What is that? A magic doodle bug. Magic eraser? Doodle bug. Okay. It's just like a eraser, scratch break. Yeah, yeah, right.